Good day, friends. Paul here. And in continuation with my Alcohol Abstinence Art and Literature series, consider this temperance token from 1841, brass, with a really neat engraved image there of a man drinking from a wooden bucket from a hand-drawn well. And let's read the inscription here. How sweet from the green mossy brim to receive it, it inclined to my lips. Some of the letters are worn away there. And on the back, pledged to use no intoxicating drink as a beverage. Temperance leads to health, wealth, happiness, and long life. A.W.R inscribed there. Well, friends, A.W.R. refers to Ashbel Wells Riley, who um, commissioned these temperance tokens in 1841. Ashbel Riley lived from 1795 to 1888. He was born in Connecticut, a builder, landowner, relocated to Rochester, New York, where he was a member of the Rochester Rifle Guards, and he worked his way up in the military to Major General of the 3rd New York Rifle Division. So pretty um, high up officer, high ranking officer. And he advocated total abstinence from alcohol in the temperance movement that was gaining a lot of ground in the 1830s and the 1840s. And he lectured about the temperance movement all over the United States and even into Europe. And the, the inscription about how sweet from the green mossy brim, that refers to an 1817 poem by Samuel Woodworth called The Old Oaken Bucket. Now, Samuel Woodworth lived from 1784 to 1842. He was born and lived in Situate, Massachusetts. He was a Revolutionary War veteran and an editor for the New York Mirror and a poet as well. And he wrote The Old Oaken Bucket in 1817. How dear to this heart are the scenes of my childhood when fond recollection presents them to view, the orchard, the meadow, the deep tangled wildwood, and every loved spot which my infancy knew, the wide spreading pond and the mill which stood by it, the bridge and the rock where the cataract fell, the cot of my father and the dairy house nigh it, and even the rude bucket which hung in the well, the old oaken bucket, the iron-bound bucket, the moss-covered bucket which hung in the well. That moss-covered vessel I hail as a treasure, for often at noon when returned from the field, I found at the source of an exquisite pleasure, the purest and sweetest that nature can yield. How ardent I seized it with hands that were glowing, and quick to the white pebbled bottom it fell. Then soon, with the emblem of truth overflowing, and dripping with coolness, it rose from the well. The old oaken bucket, the iron-bound bucket, the moss-covered bucket, arose from the well. How sweet from the green mossy brim to receive it, as poised on the curb it inclined to my lips. Not a full blushing goblet could tempt me to leave it though filled with the nectar that Jupiter sips. And now, far removed from the loved situation, the tear of regret will intrusively swell as fancy reverts to my father's plantation and sighs for the bucket which hangs in the well, the old oaken bucket, the iron-bound bucket, the moss-covered bucket which hangs in the well. So you can see how Woodworth's poem plays nicely into the temperance movement as cold water was espoused as the perfect and indeed God-given 
solution to intemperance, especially the part about when the bucket hits the bottom of the well, the white pebbled bottom it fell, then soon with the emblem of truth overflowing. So the cold water represents truth and virtue and dripping with coolness, it rose from the well, almost like a resurrection there, really. So you can see the symbolism of cold water, life-giving water that symbolizes truth and purity and virtue as opposed to the evil, demonic, destructive aspects of alcohol intemperance. And this theme of the old oaken bucket was so popular, Courier and Ives, in 1872, printed a hand-colored lithograph on the old oaken bucket with the inscription, How sweet from the green mossy brim to receive it. Not a full gushing goblet could tempt me to leave it, though filled with the nectar that Jupiter sips. So, not a full gushing goblet, presumably of wine or brandy, take your pick, could tempt the author to leave the virtue of the cool, life-giving water, even if that goblet were filled with the nectar that the god Jupiter sips. Thanks for joining me today on this theme of the old oaken bucket by Samuel Woodworth and the corresponding temperance coin uh, commissioned by Ashbel Wells Riley of Rochester, New York. Please post your comments below if you enjoy this content on the channel. As I've got more material upcoming, have a great day and enjoy a cool drink of replenishing water.